Well, if you read that, what's on Charlene's art corner tomorrow? If you know, I have some canvases to finish up, and I was talking with a fellow YouTube creator. Yes, and I have decided that at least, if not one, maybe two canvases should be some tattoo artwork, which would be great. Um, now, and I don't know if I can access it anymore because I had changed my email address. Nobody's allowed to have my email address. That's my personal info. Um, but I am a designer for tattoos on Tattoo Do, which is owned by, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows this guy, Ami James of well, New York Inc. and Miami Inc. And so he asks, you know, real artists like myself, obviously, um, to, um, I don't know if I still have one of my pieces sitting here that I did. I just haven't finished it yet. And it's a skull. I probably do still have it. Oh, it is. It's right here. I need to finish this, and it'll be a water painting. Actually, if I finish this, I think it'll be kind of cool because it's a phoenix with a skull, which would make, I think, an awesome tattoo. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that would be an awesome tattoo tattoo design for somebody, anybody, really. Colors can always be changed in a tattoo design. Always. And then, you know, if you wanted to, flowers can be added in. That's what I was thinking with this. It's like, maybe add in some flowers into the rest of this. Um, and I knew I had it sitting over here, but what I did was I used watercolor pencil, and all I ever have to do is hit a um, paintbrush to this, and two. Instant water paint. Instant water painting. That's all this is. Um, but yeah, this is another thing I do for artwork, is um, designing tattoos. So far, their site has only ever gave me money once because I did have to put in a complaint that somebody was stealing my designs. I did put in a complaint that, and I had caught people stealing Chris Garver's work online. That's something you have to be very aware of, is people stealing other people's artwork online and posting it to tattoo do now my friend eddie o that happens to work for ami um he was on tattoo do and he would see the same thing but when i caught somebody stealing a piece of chris garver's work which i know chris garver's work from not only watching miami inc but watching him paint you know you could see the man paint okay and then boom, you see somebody posting a piece of his work on tattoo do and i'm like hold up a minute i know that piece that's chris garber we had to, you know i had to report it and then i screenshot i'm like you know i contacted chris garber via social media and I have him on, and he's like, yeah, that is mine. And I'm like, well, this is where I found it. He's like, oh, thank you for letting me know that. At least he thanked me. That was cool. Uh, but he didn't appreciate other people stealing his artwork, which is fine because, you know, as an artist, you know, um, People have to respect that. 
Um, once you pick up a paintbrush, you pick up a pen, you pick up a pencil, um, there's a line to that. And most of cars, it's something that comes into a shop that, you know, is already there, then that's something that you're allowed to because it's already there. So, um, that's the stuff you're allowed to actually copy from. But if it's on the internet, that's something you can take an idea from and switch it out. That you can do so that you can actually switch it out and make it your own style of something. And um, let's say like the Alpha Wolf tattoo that I have. Okay, when that was done, the only thing that I changed was just the red color because it didn't used to be red. Um, it was a different color. So that I changed that so it's red because that's one of my favorite colors. So I was like, okay, well, it needs to match things that are near it, like, you know, this and um, that. And, you know, I wanted to match things, you know, to blend in. And, you know, so it also has meaning. But, you know, it was something that has a meaning to it. But let's say like this piece here, I changed it up. Used to be a moth, now it's a butterfly. Didn't have that skull, I changed up the skull to a skull that I designed. And it used to have antennae. I left the antennae off. Um, so I changed it all up. So you can actually take inspiration. Thank you for the thumbs up. Um, so you can take inspiration from artwork, even though this is my own piece. Thank you for the one viewer. So you can take inspiration. Like I said, this is an original that I did. But you can take this, and I did this drawing on a piece of tracing paper. It's like I ran out of paper, and I was like, screw it, I still have tracing paper. It's paper. Let me draw on that. Um, sometimes you can even take makeup if you run out of stuff to paint with. Did you know you can literally use makeup? I would have to teach you guys that sometimes, but hi, bath. But, um, tomorrow I will be doing a piece of tattoo art on a canvas so i had a fellow youtube creator we were talking for a while and i'm like Look, i have to finish up those canvases what am i gonna do i really have to get them like out of the way that's my doctor's office but um yeah um i really have to just like get those out of the way i don't know what i'm gonna do like i have no Anyway, yeah, I was just reading something from my doctor's office. <laughs> well, cat life lost a lot of weight. <sighs> it's funny that they have me get on this nationality. I'll laugh about that later. But anyway. <laughs> um, my son said he received it. But he hasn't shown me a picture. Um, so I told him he has to send me a picture. But, uh, doing tattoo designs. I was messing around with um, a piece of the tracing paper and a piece of carbon copy paper. And this is what it would look like if you were doing a... Uh,
yeah, it was in the case. So this is what it would look like if you were actually doing a tattoo transfer. I was just messing around with that and then like messing around with that on a friend's leg. I already know how to transfer. <laughs> That's actually a stencil. I don't care. Who do you think did mine? I did. But anyway, yeah. The other thing I've done for a very long time is design tattoos for other people. Then they take them into a shop and get them done. Get them done. Get them done. And, uh, like, well, I had 26. And guess who did them? Guess who did all 26 of my tattoos? one with the uh, the little rodent. <laughs> what do you think of the one with the little animal? That was just to try to like be a little cheery, try to lighten things up. Thank you. Um, a lot of people misunderstood the one on my elbow right here because it looks like a keyhole. It literally looks like a keyhole. I'll turn it that way. <laughs> yeah, the coffee song, that is exactly what I call it. It's the coffee song. <laughs> I made it up. That is actually me singing. Maybe that's why my voice is a little cracky. It's because I hit that pitch. And maybe that's why my voice is cracky. Um, I haven't hit that pitch in a while. <laughs> and, uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like coffee, but you know what? Um, a lot of hyper kids, if you actually give a, a hyperactive kid a small cup of coffee, it literally calms down the neurons in their brain. I've done that with hyperactive kids. Boom. Calms down the neurons in their brain. And they're like, normal. Normal. What's normal anyway? I I don't really think there is normal. But anyway, like I said, like the tattoo right here is literally shaped like a keyhole. Because you've got it shaped like that. It's like an old keyhole. And then it's got the fruit ali. And um, I used to be a Shriners kid. It has nothing to do <laughs> with um, the Freemasons. And it has nothing to do with the Illuminati or any society like that. But I used to be... Um, a Shriners kid. So... I was around a lot of good Sammers. I was around Shriners. And, um, and so I, I, I'm thinking, you know, that, that has to be my mark for, um, for my key for, you know, for my life, you know, and <laughs> a lot of people think that that marking is a mark of the Freemason. And 
or Illuminati or the hand gestures that I make on my channel, they, they think that is a mark. And it's a hand gesture. It, it's, it's not a mark for anything. <laughs> but I can cheese about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, actually, this one right here, this is because some guy tried to rape me. And my biker friends wanted to go find the guy and give the guy a tail pipe treatment. So the butterfly wings are my release. The skull is his ugly. The skull is his ugly. From what he tried to do and the butterfly wings are the release from his ugly oh he didn't get to penetrate what he didn't understand is while he was trying to hold me down face down what he didn't understand is he couldn't hold down my left arm he couldn't hold down my left arm so two fingers one knuckle up further than the other. Right. I'll teach you something. If a guy goes to hold you face down and you can get one arm loose, two fingers, one knuckle up further than the other, only these two. Right there. Right there. That sends pain to places they don't want. I had to do that for a half hour until the guy got off me because the pain went to the shaft of his. Yeah. And a half hour of hitting him there, hitting him there, hitting him there. And that was 300 pounds of a fat dude. And I mean, just pure cellulose. Yes, please do remember that. And I mean, he was supposed to be a friend and he was drunk and I didn't want him to drive drunk. So I told him, dude, you can crash on my floor. Uh, that way you don't drive drunk. And he waited for me to go to sleep. Other reasons why I have trust issues. But my biker friends found out. <laughs> well, he doesn't have much of a dick. <laughs> but my biker friends found out. And, um, okay, now that I just said. To YouTube because they monitor these. It doesn't really matter. I told them to stop being retarded and now I'm back. Um, um, I was waiting for him to get done with the little things spinning around and I told them to stop being retarded and he, they put me back on after I don't know how long. Anyway, I'm back. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, my biker friends found out, you know, and they asked me, where does the guy live? So, the reason they wanted to know is because they wanted to give the guy the tailpipe treatment. Bikers can be very protective of their female friends, especially if they think of you as family. And when one of them asked me, how did you meet this guy? I'm like, ask your mother. He's like, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, that's how I met the guy. It's through your mother. And he just like, you get the rules. He was like, I'm going to find out where he lives through my mom. <laughs> well, yeah. 
Um, not all biker clubs are gangs. There's a difference between the two things. Okay. There's biker clubs where they're really just awesome people. This is why I always give a shout out to Adam Sandoval rides. His thing used to be Adam Sandoval kickstands up and then he switched to Adam Sandoval rides. Um, just really awesome. I hear that he and Miss Ashley and Scooter are doing much, much better, and he's getting ready to get his bus Igor back on the road after he revamps the inside of Igor, which is going to be awesome. Um, so he's going to hit the southern states for the winter inside of Igor. Of course, he's going to be towing his bike. Um, his first bike, the War Horse, is sitting in Florida um, because that's the one that was totaled and it sits in a Harley Davidson Museum in, uh, in Florida. Oh, yeah. It took him months to recover because his left leg was just so broken. Oh my God. I saw the images and I was like, oh my God, the poor guy. And oh, he built a uh, motorcycle for a uh, military veteran and it's just beautiful motorcycle help that he helped build. It just, just gorgeous. And, to know that he's going to be back on the road again after another accident. Like, dude, bless you for continuing to give back to the men and women in uniform. Um, and I really hope Miss Ashley's doing much better too uh, because the concrete barrier that she hit. And I hope her memory's getting better. And that was just temporary. hope she's getting much better. Um, and Scooter and of course yourself. Um, I do occasionally talk to the Law Tiger, you know, on Twitter, but, um, check them out as well. The Law Tigers are awesome. If you have biker friends, have them talk to the Law Tigers. They're awesome. They're just awesome. Of course, you know, I can't drive, so I don't know. I, um, I love motorcycles anyway, even though I've been trapped into one. I still love them. Harleys are my favorite. They always have been. I think I've always been fascinated with Evil Knievel. When I was just a little thing, I was fascinated with watching this. To me, he was old. When I was little, I thought he was old because of the color of his hair. I didn't know that, you know, that he made him as old. I didn't know. I was just look, yeah. Um, but like I said, you know, bikers. That, you know, some of the nicest people you can meet ride a motorcycle. Some of the nicest people you meet have tattoos and piercings. Some of the nicest people you meet Oh my gosh, seriously, I have met the Enigma. He's just, he's so cool. He is, he is so cool, the Enigma. You know, the guy with the puzzle pieces tattooed all over him. He is one of the coolest dudes. I met him at, a ta at the Philadelphia Tattoo Convention. He is so cool. Watched him perform. just cool. Um, yeah, it's just cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Got to embarrass one of my friends. You know, like, he was standing like, right there at the front of the stage. It's like, yeah, do something that, you know, yeah, you know, so that was okay. Um, but, you know, 
me a Numa. He is so cool because he's he's a, he's tattooed in puzzle pieces and was like you know really fascinated. And I know he had been on the X Files. Oh yeah, he's been in an episode of the X Files. So if you ever want to look at that episode of the X Files, I don't know where you can find it, but um, it was the one about circus people, I believe, and he's in it, and you will actually see him in there, and I don't know if the lizard man is in there, but the enigma is in an episode of the X-Files, just cool people. So, uh, yeah, I mean, my friend Eddie, like I said, works for Ami Jane. Um, I, I met him online, but then I told him where I would be, you know, he's like, oh my god, I'm working the tattoo convention this year. He's like, stop by my booth. I stopped by, wow, he was, like, he only goes to my shoulder. I was like, I was like, damn, tower the hell over him. I was like thinking. If he was going to be about my hide, maybe. But, <laughs> but it's cool because these people hate my viewer. But um, yeah, like I said, this tattoo right here that you wanted me to, you know, explain a few of my tattoos. Um, this one's for the Alpha Wolf. Um, this is because when Obama was in office. Dude, this is not that kind of channel. If you want to be like that, take that negativity somewhere else. It's not welcome here. Now, if you would like to be here, positive people only. I'm being nice. Can you understand that I'm only being nice? This is my channel, and there will be only positive people. Now, back to me being nice, as always. Because seriously, trolling doesn't belong here. Sometimes I really wonder what is wrong with some people. Like, I'm being nice, I'm doing my video, I was trying to explain something very positive, but what is wrong with some humans? Like, you need, like, some freaking help. 
some serious freaking help. Some people need some serious freaking help. Being positive here. Don't come on to my channel and be a total bitch. And I'll, I am going to say it like that. Don't come on to my channel and be a total bitch. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I take your order? I'll tell you what, I'll order you to stay the fuck off my channel. How about that? How about that? And then you deleted your messages. But hey, somebody here has eidetic memory. Now I'm going to be nice, but if you're going to be a total ass, stay off my channel. You don't belong here. This is a positive platform. Anyway, for my positive people, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Now this is douchebag came on here and got me upset. I have to hope that I don't get another seizure. Thank you, you fucking idiot. Hope you're happy with yourself. Come on here and you say that to somebody with epilepsy. And by the way, with severe epilepsy. I get upset by just one little thing, it triggers the seizure. All I have to do is wait for it. So I hope you're happy with yourself. Grow up. Anyway. Everybody that's positive, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because I love my positive people, and you know that, and I will see my positive people tomorrow for a painting that I hope you will enjoy seeing painted. Okay? Love my positive people. See you later. Bye.